Four different ways of reversing list order in Microsoft Excel. First way is probably the simplest. I want to reverse list order in column F. So in column E, I'm going to type one. Hold down control on my keyboard and drag that little green square, the fill handle down. That'll increment the numbers down that column. Then copy your list over to the column where you want the reverse order. Then right click on one of these numbers, sort, largest to smallest. You have your reverse list order. In this second example, we're going to use the index function. And we're using the array version of the index function. Now the array is the original list of branches. And we need to lock that reference because I'm going to be copying the formula down. So I'm just pressing F4 on my keyboard to do that. Comma, row number. So it's asking which row within this array do you want to return a value from? Well, in this cell, I want to return the value in the 17th row within this array. And then down here in the last cell, I want to return the value from the first row within that array. So how am I going to do that? Well, I can use a function called rows to do this. And rows counts the number of rows within the range of cells that you specify. So if I select all these rows here, C4 to C20 would give me 17 rows. Now, as I copy this down, this column, I want the number of rows that it counts to decrease. So by the time it gets down to this cell, it'll only count one row. Now the way to do that is to lock the last cell reference within the rows function and close the bracket. So now C4 will change, C5, C6, C7, but C20 will stay as it is. So as the formula is copied down, the number of rows that are counted decreases by one each time. If I close the bracket there, press enter, and then copy this formula down, you can see it's reversed the list. Now, if you're in Excel 365, you can also use the sort by and sequence functions to do this. Let me first of all explain the sequence function, just in case you haven't come across it before. Basically, sequence will return an array of values, and we're going to use the rows argument to do that. Now, based on our list of branches, we could use the count a function, and that would work if you didn't have any blank cells in your data. You can see that returns one through to 17. If you're worried about blank cells, instead of count a, you could use the rows function as we did with index. That would count 17 rows in your range and therefore return values one through to 17. So how do we use this with sort by? Sort by array, array is the range of values that we want to sort. And in the by array arguments, you can specify an array of values to base your sort on. Well, that's exactly what we want to do. We want to base it on these values here, one through to 17 and then reverse the order, and I'll show you how to do that. So by array, I'll use sequence rows. Close the bracket twice, and then I go on to this argument, sort order one. So for descending order, which is what we want, 17 through to one, I put minus one. Close the bracket, press enter. It reverses the order of the list. Final method, using Power Query. So you'd only really use this if you were using Power Query anyway, but I think it'll be useful to show you this. So you click into your data, go to the Data tab on your ribbon, from Table or Range. This little dialog box just asks you to confirm the range of cells that you're basing your query on, and also whether you already have headers in your table. We do, so I just click on OK. Then you go to your Transform tab, Reverse Rows, go back to Home, Close and Load, and it will load the data onto a different sheet in reverse order. OK, 
That's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.